Hey folks, uh, this lesson, Finding Rational Solutions of Polynomial Equations. Uh, in other textbooks, they call it the Rational Roots Theorem. This is Module 7.1 for our Integrated Math 3 class. Uh, this is where all that groovy synthetic division comes in handy. We can solve any uh, polynomial equation by uh, using the rational roots theorem. All right, let's get started. So, so how can we find rational roots? What's our solutions? What's our um, uh, zeros also? How can we find the rational zeros? Okay, so that's what solutions are. Sometimes some books call them roots. I know when you get into um, uh, pre-calculus and calculus, your, your um, graphing calculators call them roots. So it's just solutions, x equals this, x equals that, okay? All right, uh, a polynomial equation. So here we go. So finding the rational solutions. Okay, so let's uh, recap on doing synthetic division and state whether the binomial is a factor of the polynomial, okay? So here we have um, a polynomial divided by a binomial. And we're going to synthetically divide, okay? So we got those box numbers here, okay? And then uh, it is a factor if we get uh, zero uh, as a remainder right here, okay? So the box number here, we'll do this one first. The box number is negative one. We always let this one um, be the opposite of that. Actually, we just go x plus one equals zero. So minus one, minus one. So our box number is negative one. And we are going to synthetically divide it into one. Uh, looks like um, a 0x cubed, and then a 3, and then a 0x, and then a 6 going in there. Okay, so let's do that one right there. Okay, so uh, looks like I already did it right there. So we slide the 1 down times the box number. That's what we put there. We add, so times the box number, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then we add, we get negative 2 times the box number is positive 2. Add times the box number is negative 2. Add. Okay, so this is a remainder of 4. So it is not a factor of it. So here's our answer right here. So um, it's a condensed, so we, it's always 1 degree less than this one that we are dividing. Okay, so um, it's going to be x cubed minus x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus our remainder over our divisor x plus 1. Okay, all right, so and it's not a factor because it wasn't 0. Okay, this one here, all right, so our box number is 2, all right. So we're going to slide the 1 down. I think I did that right here. Yep. Slide the 1 down times the box number is 2. We add as 4 times 2 is 8. We add as 3 times 2 is 6. So we get a remainder of 0. So, so yes, x minus 2 is a factor. So our condensed, um, uh, this is a cubic, so this is a squared term. So x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, now if it asked us, and it will later on, uh, it'll say, now solve this guy. So this one factors, uh, factors of 3 that add to 4 are 3 and um, uh, 1. So it equals x plus 3, x plus 1. So if we set this equal to 0, x plus 3 equals 0, we go minus 3, minus 3, we get x equals negative 3. Here we get x equals negative 1, and, and this was also a root right here. Okay, so the book calls them zeros, your book calls them zeros, so um, uh, root zeros so let me let me let me just take that so your book likes to call them zeros so if, um, I know your, your calculus book are going to call them roots so our old algebra 2 book called them roots also so anyways so but they're zeros zeros or solutions okay so here we go so our box number is negative 5 so here we go we're going to uh, slide the 1 down times the box number negative 5 so anyways we get that we get 0 again okay so uh, so this is our answer, x squared minus 7x plus 2, all right? So it is a, it is a factor. Now, if we were going to solve this to equal 0 right there, this one does not factor. And because that's an odd number, I would totally use uh, the quadratic formula. So from your Integrated Math 2 class, um, uh, the quadratic formula, we always have to make it equal 0 first. Do you guys remember that? So it goes like this, okay? Um, sum negative boy couldn't decide, that's what that means, on whether to go to a radical party or to be square and miss out on four awesome chicks. Whoops, I moved that. And the party was over at 2 a.m. Or you can sing this groovy jingle. X equals opposite B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Sing it. 
Okay, anyway, so uh, so when we had that quadratic equation, sorry, um, sorry for that. You, um, this is this is one, a is one, b is negative seven, and c is two. So we just plug them in right there when we're solving that to be zero. Okay, negative 49, or I'm sorry, positive 49, negative 7 times negative 7. So 49 minus 8 is, um, what's that, 41. So we get, golly, I'm dragging a lot there. So we get uh, negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 41 all over 2. Okay, so so the, the, the three zeros would be this, this 0 right here and then these other two, 7 plus root 41 over 2 and 7 minus root 41 over 2. Okay, I know that was fun, wasn't it? Okay, so the rational roots theorem allows us to narrow down our possible box numbers, and it works like this. It's going to be kind of confusing. Don't let it be. It's, it's not too bad. So we have this polynomial equation, and that's how they represent that polynomial equation. In the last one, it was something x to the third plus something x squared. So they just descend in exponents with the x's, and these a's are just the numbers in front of the x's, okay, all the way down to just the plain old number. When it equals uh, zero, uh, looks I spelled represents wrong, so represents, oh golly, that's doing a lot of mistakes, represents, sorry. Uh, okay, so um, uh, so there's our rational roots theorem. Don't let it scare you. It looks like this, you guys. So um, you do plus or minus the factors of this number over factors of this number right here. Okay, those are our, our, our possible box numbers. Okay, and if none of those work, then the answer would be no solution. And chances are um, uh, one of the integral values will work. Integers will work. If not, we can do the fraction. So let's try some of these, okay? Um, all right, so list all possible rational roots or rational zeros of this polynomial equation, okay? So we do factors of this number over factors of this number, okay? So factors of 2 over factors of 6, and it's always plus or minus, okay? So don't worry about that because it's going to be covered in the plus or minus part right there, this little negative sign. Okay, factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. So we can do 1 over 1. 2 over 1, or we can do 1 over 2, or 2 over 2, which is the same as 1 over 1. We can also do 1 over 3, or 2 over 3. We can do 1 over 6, or 2 over 6, which is the same as 1 third. So those are our only possible box numbers. So if I was going to solve this, you guys, I would try 1 first and see if it gets me 0. If it does, great. Then I get a condensed quadratic equation. If it doesn't, then try negative 1. If that doesn't get you 0, try uh, the next integer, 2. Try negative 2. Okay, so here. Here we go. So we're going to go factors of 2 over factors of uh, 6. So there's our are possible zeros right there. All the factors of 2 over factors of 6. Okay, so... Uh, so 1 over 1, 2 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 6, and then 2 over 2 is the same as 1 over 1, uh, 2 over 3 is that guy, and then 2 over 6 is the same as 1 over 3. So that's where those are my possible box numbers. Try the integers first. Let's see if it gets us 0. So we're going to slide this 6 down. So 6 goes here times the box number is 6. We add those. We get 17 times the box number is 17 and we add those we get 14 times the box number okay notice it's not zero so one didn't work we want to get zero once we get zero then we get a condensed quadratic equation so let's try negative one okay so when we try negative one it doesn't give us zero again okay we just got to keep trying until we get zero Again, try the integers first. Let's try 2. Okay, 2. So slide the box number down. 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So add 23 times 2 is, what, 46. So we add. So we're not going to get 0 with that one right there. So let's try negative 2. Okay, negative 2. When I bring this down, we get negative 12, which is negative 1, times the box number is going to be, what, positive 2, negative 1, times the box number. Hey, this one gets us 0 right there. Okay, so negative 2 is a root or a solution or a 0. That's one of our solutions. Now we just solve this guy, 6x squared minus 1x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, that's where our other roots come from right there. 
All right, this one does factor, you guys. So if we factor that, it gets us that right there. If I if I foiled this out, I'd get back to this right there. So now we set 3x plus 1 equal to 0 and 2x minus 1 equal to 0, okay? So then when we solve, we get uh, here, we, when we go minus 1, minus 1, and then divide by 3, we get negative 1 third. Here we go, plus 1, plus 1, divide by 2, we get 1 half. Don't forget about the negative 2 that was a root right there. This negative 2 was a root also, so a 0. Okay, your book likes to call them zeros, okay? All right, so there's our solutions right there. Let's try another one. I know you had fun. Okay, so our possible box numbers are, are factors of 6 over factors of 1. So... So, um, uh, and I'm just showing you that two works. One doesn't work, negative one doesn't work, two does work, okay? So I've tried this, I'm just saving time in this video, but one won't work, two won't work, factors of six over factors of one. Okay, so this one works, so slide that down, so we get a remainder of zero, okay? So here's our condensed quadratic equation, so x squared plus 8x plus 3 equals zero. Okay, we can use the quadratic formula if we want, but I'm going to remind you how to complete the square. I would rather complete the square with this one because that's even, and that's an odd number. I'll remind you how to complete the square, okay? So we, we put this on this side, we, and then we go half of 8. Half of 8 is 4, and then we square that. So that's the number that we add right there, 4 squared is 16. So to balance it out, we're going to add 16 to that side, okay? And then this side factors to a binomial square. This uh, side factors to x plus 4, x plus 4, or x plus 4 squared. Over here, negative 3 plus 16 equals that. Okay, when you get a perfect square equals a number, then this thing inside equals plus or minus the square root of that number. Okay, so x plus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of 13. So subtract 4 from both sides. There's the other two answers, negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 13. And don't forget about 2 right there. So our zeros are 2 and then uh, negative 4 plus root 13 and negative 4 minus root 13. Okay, we would have got the same answer if we would have used the quadratic formula. Completing the square to me is much easier uh, to use if that's a 1 and that's an even number. And it doesn't factor. If it factors, factoring is the best way to do it. All right, so here we go. Find the zeros of this. This is more like what your assignment is. Your directions are just like this on your assignment. Find the zeros of this function. Okay, so there's x to the fourth plus 0x to the third minus 5x squared plus 0x plus 4. And then, um, then write the polynomial in factored form. Okay, so all factors of 4 over factors of 1. So 1 goes into 4, 2 goes into 4, 4 goes into 4. Let's try 1 first. I think this gets us a 0, okay, which is what we want. So slide that down times the box number. Add box number, add box number, add box number, add, so we get 0. Okay, so now we're going to factor this. x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4. It's always 1 degree less than that. Okay, all right, so x minus 1 is a factor because um, uh, 1 gave us a root right there, so now we're going to factor this. Okay, I think this factors by grouping. If it didn't, I would go through synthetic division again with this guy. Okay, but this one does factor by grouping. Okay, so uh, remember when we put parentheses around that, it's going to change that to a plus right there. I can pull an x squared out of this and a 4 out of that, and that gets us to that. Okay, we pull out the blue x plus 1. Okay, now this is a difference of squares. This becomes x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, so um, so there's the factored form right there. Whoops, and I forgot to write uh, all the zeros. Okay, so all the zeros are, let me do that real quick. Um, all the zeros are, let me write that in. The zeros, sorry. The zeros are x equals uh, x equals uh, plus or minus one. So I'm going to just write one negative one, and then this one gets me uh, uh, negative two and positive two. Okay, so you can write plus or minus one from these two factors. We just set that equal to zero, and from these two factors. Okay, so anyways, that's your that's your zeros, and there it is in factored form. So that's what your directions to your assignment will say. Find the zeros, and then write the polynomial in factored form. So the zeros are when we set all the zero, all these uh, factors equal to zero, and there it is in factored form right there. All right, you guys, if you're sitting in my class, I'm going to assign you that. Take care.